Monkeypox is in a virus family that's actually related to smallpox. Many people may not even remember smallpox. Smallpox is the one virus uh, in humans that we've actually eliminated. Antivirals and vaccines that have been authorized for smallpox can be used against monkeypox because the viruses are in the same family. There are two vaccines that are available for monkeypox in the United States right now. One of them is ACAM2000 that requires specialized training to administer. It can cause inflammation of the heart muscle, something we call myocarditis or pericarditis. And those in particular are serious side effects. Also, it's not effective for people who have HIV or certain skin conditions, including eczema. Health experts generally see the Genios vaccine as the better option, in part because it has been specifically licensed by the Food and Drug Administration. That's a two-dose of vaccine regimen in the United States. We have a very limited availability of the Genios vaccine. If we had enough vaccine and could give a larger number of people at risk, we would do that. But I'm noticing that in places like New York and in California, there are uh, sort of discussion about doing the initial dose and waiting uh, so we can get more people with the initial dose. Does that sound familiar? Remember COVID? It's horrible. Like, this is like vaccine that's been out for such a long time. And like, it's not even a deadly disease. It's harder to be transmitted than COVID. But the rollout of the vaccines throughout this nation is it's absolutely horrible. Federal government has placed orders so that we should have up to 7 million doses by the middle of 2023. Right now, because there's a limited number of Genios vaccine doses available, state and localities are limiting who qualifies. And because it's men who have sex with men who are making up the vast majority of cases, usually the places that have the most vaccines available right now are limiting uh, vaccine availability to men who have sex with men, and particularly men who have had sex with men with multiple partners in recent weeks. What about treatment for monkeypox? We can use medications such as an antiviral called Tecorvimet, which is also known as T-pox. We're still actually trying to figure out how well does it work. It has been shown to have activity against the monkeypox virus, and we are indeed distributing it under an emergency use access protocol. And right now there is availability in the United States, but it's administered under fairly uh, stringent conditions because it has not been specifically licensed for use in monkeypox patients. And we've been hearing complaints from doctors about having to go through onerous hurdles in order to get their patients a uh, T-pox. But the CDC has been taking steps to ease some of these requirements.